If you see me in the hoodie, you already know things finna get goody. So I see y'all, man. Peace out. <laughs> YouTube, what's up? All the three garage. Welcome back to a whole new video. As you can see, I am in the Mercedes, and the Mercedes have an issue. Um, apparently it had a leak. Thought it was the water hose. Um, had it replaced by my brother. Come to test drive and drive it. It still leaks and come to find out well only place possibly is the water pump so got a new water pump and all that going to change it and i'm going to show you how to do it didn't see any too much in-depth videos so hopefully i can you know guide you along or show you um so you can do it on your w210 and uh, that's pretty much it so have a cool what's up you too all right so Today is the next day. It's Saturday. It is the next morning. By far, this got to be like the easiest car to work on due to the spacing. Like, just look how much room you have compared to any other car. And when I say any other car, I'm talking about something like this. Having to work in this area, you would have to move a whole bunch of stuff. Same with this is spacious, but um, sometimes it can be a pain to get in certain areas to work on. And I have worked on other cars and looked at the engines and all that. And some of the spacing has been really tight. But this one, I can say it's the easiest car to service. So check this out, this fan right here, this fan assembly, right? It just had two clips. And just sliding these uh, two little grooves right there, two clips going right here, and boom, the whole thing is out. So if I really want to change this whole thing right here, it would be so much easy. I have access to all the hoses and everything. Um, as you can see, it's kind of bent. So what I need to do once I get the car down, I'll probably try to do it now, or I might not because the car might slide. I need to uh, pull it that way. And obviously, um, like I said, my brother had changed the hose the other day. He thought it was just a cut. I thought it was just a cut. So I had him change it. I mean, he did a good job. But we were still having a leak after we thumped on it. I had to push it hard to see if it was, you know, going to leak again. And as you can see. Yeah, she about gone. Earlier, she was like all the way towards the top. Now she's about dripping out. So the only thing we could come up with is our water pump. I mean, it's the obvious thing. Uh, this car is, you know, getting wear and tear on it. So, yeah. So this is where I come in hand because I did not see any good videos. And you can see a drip. Yep. Got it. Yep. Got to be coming from the water pump for the backside. Somewhere. I don't know. First thing first, what you want to do. Now, this should be for all the Mercedes um i don't know the years don't quote me on it but if you got like i guess um i forgot what type of engine was in this damn car god damn i want to say that it's an m112 um but if you have you know your v6 uh v8s um going for um you know the engine sizes it, it applies to you it, as long as you got a mercedes e320 because i can't think it's early in the morning but first thing first we're gonna do is move this belt out the way. And what I like about this car, um, like I said, everything is so accessible. Um, compared to the Tahoe, you have to move a whole bunch of stuff just to get to one part. Now, we do gonna have to waste some coolant. So I'm gonna have me a bucket and try to collect most of the coolant. But I don't know if that's possible. But I'm probably gonna move that hose right there, have a bucket and try to collect it. And that's all I can do. So guys, if y'all run into that issue, man, just know you can do it. Uh, I was, I didn't want to do it, but I had to do it. I mean, shoot, it's my car. I bet if I had to take this to a shop, ain't no telling how much they would charge me just to do it. I might need to call around. I think that'd be a next video, uh, calling around uh, the next shops and uh, seeing um, what's what, or like what's the price just to change a water pump on a Mercedes. Uh, now let's get into it. So we got our new water pump right here. Okay, guys, first thing first, if you want uh, extra room, you can move this uh, fan um, assembly right here. We just had two clips uh, holding it, <clears throat> which is uh, fairly easy. 
Uh, first thing first, we're gonna uh, drain the coolant, and then I'm gonna remove this belt, and then I'm gonna see what size uh, inverted uh, sockets I will need uh, for this setup. So let's get to it. Okay, so we got coolant draining. Now we're gonna remove this belt right here. So guys, we got belt removed. So we got the bottom holes removed that goes um, from the bottom side of the pump to the radiator. And we already got like the side holes going from the water pump to uh, this uh, circulation pump right here. So fairly easy. Now we have access to the bolts and all that that we're gonna need. I'm gonna remove these two bolts first and then I'm remove these all around and then just go from there and uh, this one. As y'all can see, I got this from AutoZone. This is all y'all gonna need right here. So guys, this is our new water pump. Make sure um, before you buy anything, especially at the auto parts store, make sure um, that everything come with it, like gaskets and all that and just just to be like for sure. But anyway, we're removing this bolt right here, which is on the alternator. And I believe we're gonna have all these other sort of bolts right here uh, to move uh, from there. We're gonna have to remove this um, pulley part and uh, transfer it on here. But overall, it shouldn't be too bad. So um, I'm using a, uh, I believe this is a, a E14 to remove the big bolt right here and then we're gonna move this uh bracket right here and what y'all want to do is be careful with um y'all clips like i had broke two clips um as you can see right there but it's cool so just be very careful so uh the e4 uh, 14 on there and then i will let y'all know on the other ones and uh, if y'all had like a clutch fan on y'all's I would say move that out of the way if y'all want more space. Um, but overall, everything feels still snug, tight. I gotta transfer this uh, tensioner wheel uh, on here also. So the tensioner wheel gonna go right there. Yeah, so we're just gonna transfer these two parts on here. That's all you're probably gonna do. And be real careful uh, with this bolt. You don't wanna strip it or anything. And uh, I think that's just pretty much it. Okay, guys, the boats have been removed from uh, the older water pump. I have been putting it right here uh, in its right exact place. I think we got a few more uh, to get, uh, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we have to get one, which is by the puller. I mean, a pulley. I said a puller, which is by the pulley. And I think that should be it. We got to remove this pulley right here to get access to that boat. And then we'll remove the other ones. And then we probably get like something to pry it out or something to whack it, uh, probably a mallet or something. Um, but overall, this is not too hard. All the thing you have to do, um, just remove your hoses, drain your coolant, remove your belt, and remove uh, this bracket for these sensors. And be very careful because I broke another clip. Uh, I guess they so brittle. I mean, the car is getting old anyway but uh yeah overall though not too bad so we need to find uh something to break this off so we can uh get access to this boat right here um i probably should have changed the thermostat but i think it would be fine um so we should be good a-okay and one more thing majority of the sockets i've been using e14 e12 and e10 uh sockets you will need and uh yeah Okay, guys, so we're removing the um, pulley right here. I'm using a uh, T45, but be, be real careful. You do not want to strip it. Be very careful. So I'm going to remove this right now. It's so satisfying, too, like just doing this. It's just satisfying. Excuse my language, but y'all get what I'm saying. Let me go right here. 
y'all see that transition right now and then we're going to take this off y'all see what size that is and then move it over right there all right guys moment of truth we got all the boats out and we got every single boat in its right complete uh right correct place guys some tongue twisted so it shouldn't been that bad um we only got by, like, I want to say, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. About 16 to 15 boats that you got to remove. Um, It's pretty fairly uh, squarely easy. So we're going to try to see if we get this thing off. I might have to pry it off like I had said. So I'm going to see if I can do that. So, guys, this whole time I've been trying to pry a pry off. And I forgot one boat. One freaking boat, guys. So... And it's starting to rain on me. So I'm going to have to just cut it about right here. Well, anyway, the pump should come right off. Because I thought the boat was behind here. I thought I had to take this pulley off just to get a boat uh, from behind there. But, hey, we got it. So, guys, we got the water pump off. Got a little dirt that fell down. But, hey, we got the old one right here, as you can see. And uh, pretty fairly easy. So got this seal that we're going to have to remove right here and we're going to have a seal that we're going to have to um put on another one so i'll see y'all so guys i got an umbrella covering me i should have pulled under my uh, little uh, carport thing should have moved my four wheeler but i didn't but anyway uh we're removing this old gasket right here i'm uh clean this out and the seal looked like it was apparently gone so we got O one out probably just clean around it yeah seal was leaking for sure probably was leaking in, the, uh, in that corner right here Anyway, I'm going to have this clean. I'm going to have the new gasket on, and that uh, will be it. Okay, guys, we got the gasket on. Um, pretty fairly easy. And for double coverage, we're going to have this secondary uh, gasket on, so it's going to seal up everything and make it more tighter. And I have to do a drawing on this uh, box right here probably in, uh, so I can put all these bolts and all that. And I'm in my raggy behind Tahoe. So, yeah, yeah. But anyway, enough for that. Um, yeah. So guys, I did a draw out for the secondary gasket. And as you can see, we got a water pump right there. But I did a drawing where I can put all my screws. So you should do the same thing. So guys, I have the new gasket on. I did put some um, ultra gray uh, gasket marker uh, just around like the edge or so so we can have uh more bear to seal or just for extra reinsurance but hey we got our own guys we had to thread our new hose uh for this bracket right here so it can hold in place but i don't know if i thread it uh with the right one I have uh, this tool set, but hey, uh, the holes are threaded. And I started off with uh, this boat in this corner and the boat over here in that corner. And then I moved down to the bottom and I'm like moving around in like a star pattern, if that make any sense. All right, guys, so we got everything put together, made sure every boat was tight. I believe the M6 boats are like uh, 10 uh foot pounds or 10 newton meters i'm not sure um and then 25 for the m8 boats but they don't have anything specific of the torque specs of this water pump so i just you know made sure that it was uh, tight um like i said i had to the two holes on top of the water pump i had to um make my own uh threads um pretty loose but it ain't the best but it's tight still 
And uh, other than that, we just got to get the belt on. And I'm going to hurry up and drive to the auto parts store and fill up with coolant. I was going to put the old coolant in, but why not spend an extra few bucks and uh, get some coolant, uh, fill up this car, clean it up. And that's it. So, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed that video. It is raining. It is raining out here. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, pretty fairly easy uh i got up about six i started i could have been done by eight o'clock honestly uh this job would, would probably take you like an hour maybe two just to do it but being that it's raining uh i've been kind of getting wet i had to throw on this suit to keep me from getting wet and shit i'm getting it done so i'm excited i hope y'all enjoyed this video and uh shoot see y'all later